The Lampson and Goodnow Company was started in 1837. They started off making scythes and snaths. Snaths are handles for a scythe. The owners hired skilled craftsmen from England and Germany to prove that high quality knives could be produced here in America. In 1865, after the U.S. Civil War, the Lampson and Goodnow Company became one of the largest cutlery companies in the U.S. In this video, I'll clean up my old putty knife. After using my scraper to get that gunk off the blade, I used my fine wire wheel to just further clean it down a little bit. Then I took it to the grinding wheel and just flattened it out and put a little bit of an edge in there. I don't need it to be too sharp. Then I grabbed some 80 grit sandpaper and started sanding down and smoothing it out. I use this 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the bolsters here. I think it's made out of aluminum this material, but I wish you guys could feel how smooth they came out. I'm using 400 grit paper here just to smooth it down a little bit more, uh, make it a little shinier. I'm not getting rid of all the patina. I'm going to keep this as a using tool, so I just want to make it look a little better. I used the steel wool to help buff out any sanding marks that I might have left in there from the 400 grit paper. I'm not sharpening this blade, I'm just going to use a little sandpaper here to get rid of the burr from the grinder. I used beeswax, turpentine, and linseed oil to make this Sparky's Wax. Sparky is a fellow YouTuber that I follow, and he has a video on how to make this on this channel. I buffed in the wax after about 10 minutes. Uh, this wax will help protect the metal from corroding and keep the wood in good condition. This is definitely one of my favorite tool stamp logos. Lampson Company is still making tools today. Here is a honing rod for sharpening knives. Uh, this is a 12 inch chef's knife. Then we have a big spatula for a big flat griddle, flat top. And we have a dough scraper here. Their current logo stamping gets pretty faint, like you can see here on this knife, or else it's written on a handle. I love the way they used to stamp it into the metal this way. It'll last on the tool for almost forever. You can still buy yourself a USA made Lampson putty knife today. I like the way this knife came out. The darkness of the handle, the shininess of the metal, and the smoothness of these bolsters here, it, it's just, I wish you guys could feel it, it's nice.